In this video, you'll learn why Meshtastic is an emergency device that everybody should have, and you'll learn the easiest and cheapest way to get started with Meshtastic in as little as 15 minutes. Anyone can do it, as long as you follow the steps in this tutorial. How's it? My name is Hugh, and first I'll quickly explain how Meshtastic works. If you already know how it works, use the timestamps below to get to the appropriate chapter. Meshtastic is basically a person-to-person -person communication network that allows you to send messages to people via your smartphone, and an attached radio. You can send messages over fairly long distances without a cell phone plan or the internet. Once you buy the equipment, there's no license to apply for and there's no subscription fee. The messages are sent over radio waves, similar to how a radio station broadcasts, except you can send private messages also via Meshtastic. Now the radio can be very small and inexpensive like this one, it's called a LoRa radio and that's short for long range. What you do is you connect the radio to your smartphone via Bluetooth and then you use the messaging app on your phone to send and receive messages. What makes Meshtastic great is that every radio on the network can relay messages from other radios, extending the range that you can send a message. And if you send it over an encrypted private channel, other radios cannot see what you are sending. This means that you can send messages over longer distances compared to direct communication methods like walkie-talkies. Meshtastic says that the longest distance a message has been sent is 331 kilometers or 205 miles. However, the maximum distance that you can send a message will depend on things like how high are you in elevation, are there physical objects blocking the signal, what kind of antenna are you using, and is there interference in the air. Individual results will vary by location and equipment used. So I think you can see by now, if a lot of people in your area have a radio, you can communicate with people over fairly long distances, even if the cell towers are not working. Some areas like Southern California have a lot of people using Meshtastic, so it's easier to send messages in those areas. Now there is a limit to the number of times that your message can get relayed, and that's so that the network doesn't get overloaded with relays. So there is a limit to how far you can send a message. For example, you can't send a message to somebody on the other side of the world, at least not yet. Okay, now that you understand how Meshtastic works, I'm gonna show you how to get up and running really quickly and for cheap. Now you can get a very basic board for about $15, but I would highly recommend getting one of these kits because it has an all-in-one enclosure and you can take this with you. The easiest and cheapest way to get started with this as this video is being recorded is to use the Helltech LoRa 32 V3 board. Now in the future, there will obviously be newer boards, but these instructions will be very similar and will still apply. There are also several self-contained devices that you can buy, and those are all-in-one units. In that case, you don't need a cell phone because those devices have a keyboard and a screen on it, and those are great things to have if you don't wanna carry your cell phone around. Now in this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it super simple, but if in the future you wanna explore those possibilities and continue with this hobby, then I would highly recommend checking out those devices. Links are in the description below. This is the completed kit I'm gonna show you how to assemble in this video. I got it off of Amazon, it was about $33, and I would highly recommend getting two of them because you wanna be able to hook them up to two phones and talk back and forth and really see how this works because you might not have somebody else to talk to if you only have one radio. So if you wanna pick up this kit, the link is also provided in the description below. I'll start this tutorial by just setting up the board by itself. So if you just wanna get the bare bones kit, that's how you would do it and then I'll hook it up to the phone and then start sending messages. And then later in the tutorial, I'll set up the entire case so that you can make this portable. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here's what you get in the box, uh, the case, and then there's a bunch of stuff in here. So there's the uh, cover for the case, there's the adhesive for the battery, and then there's the battery in here, and then this is the radio itself. So I'm just gonna assemble this um, with the minimal amount of setup first, and then I'm gonna flash it with the Meshtastic firmware, and then I'll connect it to my phone, get it up and running, and once it's running, then after that, I will close it down and then assemble all the parts with the case and everything like that. I just wanna show you how fast you can get up and running with this, even if you just have the basic board and you don't have the case. All right, so what you need is just the board here. Uh, this is the USB-C connection. This is where the antenna goes in and this is where the battery connects. So for this setup, I'm gonna take out the mini antenna here and this is all you need to get started. Simply just plug this into uh, this port right here kind of just snaps into place and uh, there you go, it pops in. And it's usually a good idea to attach the antenna first because Meshtastic says uh, you can potentially burn out the radio if there's no antenna attached. So you wanna do that first. Now let's plug it into the computer and flash the firmware. Okay, so now we're gonna flash the firmware and the firmware you can think of it as just like software uh, for the device. It's kind of like Windows on your laptop or Mac OS or whatever, right? So this is the website. You can go to meshtastic.org. There's a link in the description below and this is a free download. So I'm going to just go to downloads here 
and then I'm going to go to Web Flasher. And the Web Flasher is just an installer that you can use on a website and it makes it super easy. You don't have to download anything. Uh, this will do it all for you. So that's fantastic. So I'm going to take my USB-C cable here. I'm going to plug it in to my laptop and then I'm just going to plug it into the Helltech board here and that will come alive and you'll see uh, just some random messages. You get the Helltech uh, splash screen and then it'll try to connect, but there's uh, no software on there. So the connection will fail and that's okay because uh, this is brand new. So what I'm going to do from here is select the target device. This is going to be the uh, Helltech V3 right there. It's going to give me the latest beta. So you want to use the beta ones because they're stable. Uh, the alpha ones are unstable and you obviously don't want to use that, but it should default to the latest beta. And then you simply hit flash. It'll give you a bunch of updates on what uh, people have done and changed on this. And then you just hit um, that button and then I do a full erase and install. So since this is brand new, I don't care. And just simply hit the erase flash and install and then it'll ask you to connect. So I'm going to look for uh, this one here, the CP2102. And it shows that it's paired because it's plugged into the USB cable. So I'm gonna connect. And then you'll see down here, there'll be some messages on what's going on. And then you'll see the screen go blank on the Helltech. So this will take a little while and I'll come back uh, when it's done. All right, so once it's finished, you'll see uh, right there, it says flashing is 100% complete. And that's the message that you'll get on the uh, Helltech device. And from there, it's ready to go. Real quick, if you're finding this video useful, subscribe to the channel to get more video updates. Okay, once you have that set up, now it's time to pair the board to your phone. And the phone is where we're gonna set up the device with all the settings. So uh, first you wanna pair it in Bluetooth. So go to pair new device. And then uh, the device is gonna start with Meshtastic. And then the name is here. That's the last um, few characters of the serial number. So just tap on that and then it will ask for the number and the number comes up here. So I'm just going to type that in. All right, so now it's paired. Now I'm going to head over to the Meshtastic app. You can download that from your app store and that will allow us to really get started with this. Okay, I'm here in the Meshtastic app and um, this is already available. So I'm just going to tap on that and it's gonna take a couple seconds. You can see that it's doing something up here and then it will show us connected. You can tell because you have a green uh, cloud with a check mark in the lower right corner. And the first thing you want to do is set your region. So I'm going to set that to United States and then hit send on the bottom. And that's going to send the information to the card and then it's going to reboot it so that the um, changes are updated. Now you want to go into the channel. So hit this button right here and that will show you the current channels. And this is the long fast channel, which is the generic public channel. So anything you uh, communicate on this channel will be public. So you obviously don't want to do that. You want to set up your own channel. So you can go to edit and then you can add another channel here by uh, tapping the plus button. You can give it a name, just call it name for now. And then uh, you can leave these all unchecked to save. All right, once you have that set up, then you will see your new channel here. It has a green lock because that's an encrypted channel. Uh, so only the people who are on that channel can see it. Uh, the next thing you want to do is tap and drag this up to primary. So you want the phone to, by default, transmit through this channel. Once that's all set up, be sure to hit send. Again, that will send that information over to the board and it will change the settings. Okay, now you have a private channel. So how do you add people to that channel? So you go back into this button and then uh, name will be at the top here. So this will be the primary channel. So this is the QR code for that channel. So whenever somebody wants to join your channel, you either send them this URL here by copying here and pasting, or you can have them go into their app, hit this button here and then hit scan. And that will allow them to scan your barcode and uh, that will add them to your channel. And to send the message, you simply tap on your new channel there. You can type in the text there, put in whatever, hit the send button and it will go out to everybody on this name channel. And that's why it's a good idea to buy two of these radios because then you can send back and forth and test it out and see what it really does and get used to how it works uh, so that you can use it out in the field. Before I put the housing on this radio, there's one more thing that you should take a look at and that is here, you tap there and then tap this gear icon, that's the settings and you can change the username. So that would be useful if you wanna change your username and then uh, here for position, you want to turn this off. So make sure that smart position is not enabled. And 
in GPS mode, it says not present. So if you want to be more private, then turn those off and then hit send. And that will reboot the card again. And this will go pink for a little while, while it's restarting. And then it will connect again. You'll see the connection happening here, just like that. And then this will turn green. All right, now that that's set up, let's get back into finishing this guy off so that you have an enclosure that you can carry around with you. All right, to assemble this thing, now we're just gonna pull out the USB cable that will cut the power. That's fine, don't worry about it. And then I'm gonna take off this antenna just by pulling it out straight from the board. Okay, and then I'm going to get this case and we're gonna start with the case. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open this case up. Uh, in the instructions, it says to put a pair of scissors in there. So uh, I found that that actually works, as weird as that sounds. Uh, so you just stick a pair of scissors in the hole and then you pry it open like that. Now you have the case open. So we're gonna work with the bottom here. So the first thing you're gonna do is take one of these adhesive uh, double-sided tapes and then just take off one side, stick it in there, and then remove the other side. All right, now you're gonna get your battery out and then we're gonna put the battery in. This is the 1100 milliamp hour, but you can get some bigger ones if you want. All right, so the battery goes in with the wire part towards the hole. So we do it like that, and then we just slide this in there, and this wire part has to go around uh, this little tab there, and then you'll be good to go. And then from there, uh, we wanna put in the antenna. So let's put in the other antenna. So we can just stick this antenna on there for now, and then we'll, we'll uh, make it pretty later, but uh, this is just temporary to get it going. So now I'm gonna put that on the board, like so. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna plug in the power. So I'm just gonna simply put this in here. And there's, uh, you can see two little tabs sticking up at the top there, and that's what goes up on this board and just slide it into place. There we go. Now the screen will come on because the battery is on. So that's working. And then now I'm going to put this into the uh, cover here. I'm sim simply gonna slide this in like that. And then I'm going to unscrew this. So there's uh, a couple of washers here. So just unscrew that a little bit so that you can fit it in. So there are two washers here. I like to put it in between the two washers. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but uh, that makes sense to me. So I'm going to unscrew it enough so that I can put it there and then I'm gonna stick it into this slot so that the plastic is between the two washers. And then I'm gonna screw it down so that it gets uh, pretty tight. All right, so there it is installed. Now I wanna make sure that this board is pretty flat against uh, the front of this case. I just wanna make sure that it's flat so nothing gets damaged once I put this in. So I'm gonna slip that into there and then I just wanna click that into place like so. And now we have a almost finished uh, device. Now the last thing to do is just to take the screen here and I'll take the backing off of this and then just slide that on here like this. It's easier to put one side in first and then kind of drop it in like that and then press it down to make sure that it's all nice and set and then take off this cover piece there. All right, so here's how to use the buttons. The bottom button is simply a reset button. So if you hit that once, it'll restart the device. I guess that's useful if you're having issues with it and need to reboot it quickly. So once it's up and running, uh, you can use this top button to change the pages and you'll see the dot at the bottom change and that shows you what page you're on. And then to shut it down, simply hold the top button for about six seconds and then you'll see a message that it's shutting down. Let go of the button and now it's off. And then to simply start it up again, you hit either of the buttons and it'll uh, turn back on again. Once you get your radio up and running, remember that it's only useful if you have people to talk to, right? So consider giving your friends and family a radio as a gift. It might make a great Christmas or birthday present. You can also experiment with other similar networks like Reticulum and MeshCore. You can usually use the same device, simply flash their firmware onto the device. If you don't like it and you wanna go back to MeshTastic, then you simply reflash it with the MeshTastic firmware. Now, if you wanna see the pre-built MeshTastic device that I currently use, check out the video that's coming up next.